Hello learners, welcome to Click the Class, a knowledge sharing network. This is Iraj Iqbal, instructor of this video lesson. In this lesson, we are going to discuss about the affective filter hypothesis. It's one of the five hypotheses of monitor model, the most well-known and influential theory in second language acquisition. By the way, what is second language acquisition? Second language acquisition is a very important subdomain or branch of English language teaching or more broadly applied linguistics. It tries to understand how a person can acquire a second language. By the way, as it's saying acquiring a second language, that means that uh, the person has already got his mother tongue or first language. The girl in this picture, what is her reaction? Probably she is a little bit anxious uh, or a little bit surprised. Okay, do our feelings and emotions have any place in our language proficiency development? Yes, they do. At least Krashen is saying so in this hypothesis. He says that the presence of our feelings and emotions creates a kind of filter for our language input that is affective filter. This hypothetical filter does not impact acquisition directly but rather prevents input from reaching the language acquisition part of the brain. According to Krashen, the affective filter can be prompted by many different variables including anxiety, self-confidence, motivation and stress. If the affective filter is up, language learning confronts obstacles. If the affective filter is down, language learning smoothly occurs. So, our motivation, confidence, level of anxiety and personality traits impact our second language acquisition. So, these are the ideas of the affective filter hypothesis. Now, let's read them all together on the next screen.
If you would like to know more about other topics of applied linguistics and English language teaching, please subscribe to this YouTube channel because we will be making more highly researched ideas. Thanks for watching and have a good day.